Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Well, if you're one of those folks who uses financial software for tracking your budget and your bank accounts, maybe you've got a rich uncle who left you gobs of cash and you're just wanting to keep track of it all, and it's maybe one of those hurdles that's keeping you from moving over to Linux. Perhaps you're using Quicken or even the old Microsoft Money or QuickBooks and uh, you want to migrate over to Linux, well have no fear, Linux is here and we've got some great options. Today we're going to take a look at four of those. We'll look at their features on their respective websites and then I've installed two of them for a little more detail. So that's coming right up. So the first one on the list will be Money Manager EX. Now I really like Money Manager EX and a couple of the others simply because they are cross-platform. You'll see here there is a Google app for Money Manager EX and I don't believe it's full featured as what you will see here but uh, it is an accompaniment to the Money Manager EX software except you know portable. Uh, but it's cross-platform, works on Windows and Mac and the benefit of that is if you're on Windows or Mac now, uh, perhaps you're using this, so your migration over to Linux would be uh, pretty easy as far as Money Manager EX is concerned. Let's jump over to the features. So you've got accounts and currencies, transactions, so you can take note of all your expenses and your incoming um, cash flow and, and what's going out. Uh, you can set up payees and categories. So if there are people that you pay frequently, you could set them up, uh, get them all set up to make, you know, for quick payments. Repeat transactions. Uh, you can track your fixed assets. And uh, you can get into your budgeting, whether that be your personal budgeting or budgeting for your business. You can store attachments. Now this is a big feature here and I don't believe this is offered in the other three that we're going to look at. So this might be one of the things that sets Money Manager EX apart for you. You can create reports. You can import and export. So you can import your data from Quicken Interchange Format or QIF and S or CSV and then you can export into QIF as well and that's important because many accountants out there work with Quicken or QuickBooks and would want that data in a Q, uh, QIF format. It's multi-language so it supports up to 30 translations and we talked about it being cross-platform. Now the Android version here they say it's a port of the PC application and it has the best features of its sister's desktop application uh, but I don't think you're going to find all of the features that you'll see in the desktop in the Android version. Now this is completely free and open source and so you can download this without ads or any charges. It can be freely used, changed, and shared by anyone. It's really full featured. Uh, one of the things I will say though is when you go to download this you'll notice Windows and Mac, here's Android, there's an APK so if you don't have the Play Store set up, you can just download the APK and install it that way. Now when you go to Linux, things aren't quite as straightforward as you know one click. If you're running an Arch-based distro, then you could set it up this way by entering this into Pac-Man. Or actually, the easiest way is I'm sure if you go to the Arch user repository, you'll find it there. Otherwise, you'd go over here to GitHub and you can build this out. I don't believe there's a deb file. I haven't found a deb file or a PPA uh, for this to set up if you're running, you know, Ubuntu or Linux Mint or something like that. Uh, let's go back over. Let's see if there's any screenshots because I do not have this set up. Uh, let's go into accounts and currencies. Yeah, you'll see a few screenshots here. But this is definitely one that I would check out. It looks to be really full featured and again cross platform. The next one on the list is K My Money. And this has been around a while, but I pulled this up because there's been a few releases recently. The, as, as recent is as uh, 0206 of 2018. And uh, K My Money 5.0 has been released. And let's go over here to, let's see, screenshots because I don't have this installed. Now if you're running the KDE desktop this is going to look very familiar to you uh, but it allows you to set up your various accounts and schedule your transactions everything that a money manager should do. You can set up your payees, 
uh, get reports and budgets. Now, I'm not sure if this allows you to tie in and synchronize with your online account or not, you know, the account at your bank or not. Uh, that's something you'll want to dig into if that's one of the prerequisites to you using this software. All right, now we'll move on next to um, GNU Cache or GNU Cache. And this has also had a recent release. Um, and it's now up to version 2.7.5. So we're going to go over here to screenshots and features. And I've actually got this one installed. So we'll kind of browse through this. You've got double entry. Uh, there's a there's a registry a register setup that's similar to your checkbook, and we'll take a look at some of this. Uh, you can schedule transactions for certain dates, and there's the lovely reports and graphs again. Uh, you can set up your statement reconciliation, set up your account types. There's small business accounting features built in where you can set up customers and vendors and do invoicing and bill payment and as well as your taxes multiple currencies. You can set up stock and mutual funds. And there's also an online stock and mutual fund uh, quote set up. And then again here for the import and export, you've got QIF and OFX, which is the Open Financial Exchange um, protocol. So you could uh, use that uh, open format. And let's keep going here. Check printing, mortgage and loan repayment assistance. So we'll we'll open this up and take a look at this briefly as well. And then the final one, which I also have installed, is called Home Bank. And I really like this. Um, there's, I think, one downside to this is that uh, it does not allow you to connect to your online account. I've got, I need to double check that. Don't hold my feet to the fire on that but you can import your bank statement. So let's just look at the highlights here and then we'll open these up and take a look. So it's cross-platform and it, again, it supports Linux, Windows, and Mac. You can import from Quicken, Microsoft Money, or other software. You can import bank account statements. So you could take an OFX again, or a QIF, or a CSV and import that. It's got duplicate transaction detection at import, so it's gonna get rid of any duplicates that maybe uh, were entered uh, you know, by mistake. You can work with multiple currencies with an online update. Uh, automatic check numbering, automatic categories and payee assignment, and then you can set up all kinds of accounts from a bank account, a cash account, a credit card, um, any other li uh, liabilities or assets that you have. You can schedule your transactions, which all of these will do with uh, post or advance options. Uh, You've got transaction templates, category split, internal transfer, so you can go from one account to the other, uh, a monthly or annual budget, and there's those beautiful, powerful reports and charts. You can even set up your vehicle cost, and there's about 56 languages that have been translated for this, and this is, again, free and open source. All right, so that's kind of a quick rundown of four options for you. And I would just say spend some time on the various websites and really dig into the details to see what might be the best fit for you. We all have our own individual needs when it comes to our finances and our budgeting. So uh, one may win out over the other. All right, well, next up, we're going to launch into these. And just again, I'm not going to get into super details here. I just wanted to give you a look of, of, uh, at each one of these as it's installed and how you might step through and add a few things to set up your account. So the first one on the list is Home Bank. So with Home Bank, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to create a file or open a file. So let's see, I set one up earlier, but for whatever reason, it's not there now. So we're going to create a new file and we're just going to call this Linux Quest. and go next. And so here it's going to give you a little info here that's preset to English. Um, you can initialize categories with this file, so we're going to go next. Uh, we can give this account a name, so I'm just going to use generic bank, and then we will say it's a bank account, and I'm just going to give this the number of one. Next up, it's going to ask you about your balances, and so I'm just going to say we've got a thousand well, it's not going to let me do that that way. Let's try it this way. So we're going to say we've got a thousand, and we're going to say we're overdrawn when we reach um, 800. 
So we'll stick with that and just kind of move on here. Once you've got that all in place, we're going to confirm it and click apply. So now, now that's not showing up. I wonder if it, why it did not register that we had the thousand dollars in there. But anyway, we're going to move on. I had it set up earlier with a thousand dollars, but we've set up that bank account. It's been wiped out. I have no money. I must have spent time in Vegas or something like that. But I just want to give you kind of a, a glance here at how easy it is to manipulate and work with the UI. You've got uh, your main menus here. Uh, and then you've got some quick launch icons for various functions. And so if we go in, you wanted to add a transaction. You could show transactions, any existing transactions here. Um, you could add a transaction. So it's going to list out the date, the amount, you know, the payment, what type it was. Uh, very easy. And then if you had a list of payees uh, already set up, those would be there in the drop down. You've got categories here, so if you're working through your budget, and let's say it's your cell phone bill, you could add memos or tags. So everything in place as it needs to be. Uh, you can manage your accounts and your payees. So if we wanted to go in and set up a new payee, uh, let's say that uh, I need to make a payment to uh, T-Mobile. So we could add up T, or we could um, add T-Mobile into that lineup as a payee and there we go reports I don't really have anything set up here so if we got into statistics or let's see here we'll go back over to budget or anything like that you're really not going to see anything because I don't have any data in here but again just wanted you to see how nicely laid out this is and I think um, if you're used to running Quicken or Microsoft money or anything like that you could quickly uh, find your way around. This is the vehicle cost report. So I think it's nicely done. The UI is nice. Um, it's laid out in an easy to understand manner. All right, we'll move on over. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close this without saving. And the next one on the list here is GNU Cash or GNU Cash. And this is just giving me the tip of the day as we launch in here. So you could go through and read, read these tips and you can toggle off, show the tips at startup. So we'll close this out. And as you can see, I've set up an account in this already. The layout again is fairly simple and straightforward, although I believe that maybe Home Bank is laid out in a, a little bit easier to understand fashion. So we've set up an asset here. It's, uh, it's an account with cash in the wallet of $100 and then a bank account of $1,100. So I just set those up as, a, as an example. Uh, you could rename this. You could edit this account. Uh, you can clear this account or transfer this account. So let's say we had this $100 in our wallet and we want to transfer this over to our uh, checking account. So we'll take that um, and we'll take that and add that to the checking account. Or we're going to, uh, excuse me, we're going to transfer from our cash in our wallet over to our checking account and we'll just give that um, a description here we'll just say payment and we'll put a memo here of LQ so we're going to go ahead and click OK and now we have transferred that over to the checking account or it should have gone into the checking account I just need to find where it is uh, so now we no longer have cash in our wallet and that went over to some undescript checking account that I didn't set up. So poor example on my part, but I just wanted to give you the ideas. Um, here over tools, you'll see online banking setup. So you can set this uh, up to connect with your bank online. Uh, you've got a loan repayment calculator. Um, so this gets, GNU Cash gets a little more powerful in some areas. Uh, then home bank. Uh, nice list of reports here. Uh, under business you could set up customers. So if we wanted to set up a new customer, someone that we're going to be billing, you've got their billing information, their shipping information. It's really quite full featured. Same with vendors. So you could set up a new vendor. Once you've got this vendor set up, um, you could then go in and you know set up for a new bill or a new job, process payments. And then you've got actions over here where you can create your new accounts, uh, reconcile, 
so on and so forth. Check and repair. So if you've got issues with the account, the way things are pulling in, you could go over and scan and do check and repair. So I hope that this just gives you an idea, an overall, an overall idea of the type of quality software we have when it comes to uh, you know, financial tracking, uh, you know, managing your business perhaps, or if you just want a simple budget, uh, we've got, I think, some extremely good options. And again, these are all free. Uh, they're primarily all open source. Um, and, you know, you can try them out because a lot of these are cross-platform. So there's just a lot going on there that's all positive as far as I'm concerned. So, well, I hope this has been helpful for you. And as always, thanks for watching.